Hi everyone. Welcome to this interview. We have a very special guest with us today. We have Dr. Arunima Bhardwaj. Arunima has got a score of 298 and she has got rank 17 in the recently held NEED Super Speciality exam. And uh, she is here to share her success journey and give some advice to those who will be targeting the upcoming exam. So first of all, Dr. Arunima, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So has the success now sunk in? <laughs> yes, sir. It took me a lot of time to sunk in because my five times I cross-checked my marks. Yehi mere marks hai, mera roll number hai, mein wahi kar di thi. <laughs> it does happen, but abhi to now uh, you are going to, you know, uh, you are in the top 18 people in NEET SS exam. So what are you planning to take up? So I'm planning to take neonatology. Okay. And, uh, so other than that, uh, background ke mein, if you can share some something. Yes, sir. I belong to a village, the Shal. Uh, it is there in the district Kullu of Himachal Pradesh. I did my UG from Dr. Ajinda Prasad Government Medical College, Tanda. After that, I pursued my MD from IGMC Shimla, sir. I just completed it in August uh, 2021. After that, uh, I was uh, joined uh, as a MO a specialist in peripheral posting, sir. Okay. So was this your first attempt at, at exam? Yes, sir. It was my first attempt. Okay, great, great. And uh, like when you sat for the exam, uh, how did you find the exam as compared to what you had heard about the exam and uh, what parts did you find difficult? What parts did you find easy? So what is your analysis of, about the paper? Uh, so this was my first attempt. So uh, I, I was told that uh, uh, there are lots of one-liners, but I don't think uh, the exam pattern was like that because in this exam, there were so many scenario-based questions. So I think uh, that uh, concept of one-liner was not followed in this neat SS at least. And uh, along with that, I'll say ki, uh, uh, there were lots of questions from nephrology, neurology. I think that was very important aspect in this exam, maybe rank decider also. Along with that, I'll say, sir, uh, there were a few questions on uh, on this recent indices, MDG goals. I think there I found a bit difficulty because <laughs> I didn't go on through that. Basically, nobody goes through these things. So uh, I, I think that was a... Something yes, which sir. got you offered, but it was similar for everyone also. So you got an excellent score. That means most of the things you did, you did them right. So what are the yes, responses? I think yeah, Nelson yeah. thoroughly helped me in this exam, at least. Great, great, great. So it was basically a Nelson-based exam, right? End of the day. Yes, sir, Nelson. I found it. So uh, other than Nelson, any other resources did you use? Any other books, review articles, or any other thing? So I used uh, Nelson and for neonatology, I used Kluharty. And uh, during residency, I read the uh, AIMS uh, and ICU protocol. Mm -hmm. But during preparation, I only read Nelson and Kluharty mm -hmm. and uh, prepared the videos and Q banks. I saw it. Yes. So, did prepare the videos, uh, notes, and mock exams? Did they, they help you in some way? Definitely, sir, because when I was reading theory, I realized that I was not able to uh, get ki how the questions are going to be framed from the given topic. So when I started doing QBank, then I got confidence. I used to get my uh, All India rank also in the mock test and all this. So I think that was very, very useful for me because uh, I joined a bit later. But uh, I think that was, uh, but still, I, I could use it as much as possible. <laughs> so that's all. So do you think uh, that MCQ practice is an important aspect of uh, preparing for super speciality? Definitely, sir. MCQs are equally important. I think if it is 50% theory, that, then 50% MCQs must be uh, done. Because, sir, if we will not do question, then we are not going to have any idea how the which part is important in the given topic and how the questions are going to be framed. I think that was important, very important. QBank really helped me and it gave me a confidence even during my exam. And I was prepared ki, this much time you have to give for a question mm -hmm. and you have to uh, read those words, uh, accept. Uh, none of the above and all this kind of stuff i think that's how this was very important i think for me so what advice would you like to give so uh, especially to those who are starting late because as you yourself said that you started late but you were able to catch up so any uh, success <laughs> well, uh, i started 
I'll say ki uh, basically during residency try to be uh, thorough with your Nelson as much as possible and uh, along with that uh, Clohart is very important especially for neonatology and uh, after uh, even after MD uh, if you will uh, solve your Q bank and I think prep letter videos are really very useful because they are very concise and they help you to understand the topic in depth and when you understand the concept I think you get a confidence and I think that's very important whenever you sit in any exam because when you basic your concepts are clear i think you can crack any exam so how much uh, time would you devote uh, would you say that uh, this much amount of time is sufficient in case you are able to do it on a consistent basis did you did you uh, have any such notion in mind that itna mujhe taiyari karna hai because obviously being md residents and post md uh, we cannot read you know 12 14 hours in a day as we used to do earlier so what is your take on this uh sir uh, definitely during residency you will not be able to get so much of time but i think being consistent even if you uh, will get one or two hours daily uh, to read nelson i think that will be more than sufficient during residency but i think post md uh, we can get more hours uh, for studies and i think uh, uh, i watched one of your <laughs> videos sir and you were saying ki you need at least 8 hours per day uh, although i was not able to daily give my 8 hours but i tried ki at least 5 uh, to 8 hours 4 uh, to 8 hours this was my matlab i tried as much as as i can give <laughs> See, Arunima, uh, the point here is whatever we say is the you know ideal thing. There are practical ideal. things also, yes, but the but the thing is, if I if I or any other mentor or any other teacher is going to say uh, four hours is sufficient, you would be laid back in your mind and you would actually be taking out only two hours of productive work. So when we say eight yes. hours, any anything between six to eight hours, if you are able to do it on a consistent basis, I think that should be enough, provided you are thorough with the concepts and all. You know? and uh, yes. to whom would you like to dedicate your success any shout outs any dedication so i'll uh, say that my parents played a very important role because they were like my backbone throughout my journey and my brother nivesh my sister sukriti and uh, all my teachers my friends i think they all played very important role because it's not only a uh, competitive exam but i think in ug pg all your teachers they do play a role wherever a child uh, today is standing in uh, life i think it's all because of them only and i can you know uh, feel a sense of uh, you know i would say uh, belonging as well related to your rank because uh, i have also done my ug from shimla so a fellow fellow uh, a person coming out from there and getting such a great rank and achieving success that is even more commendable so what it also shows is that uh, the place from where you are doing md the whether whether people your seniors and your contemporaries they are getting top ranks or not i think it doesn't matter right because uh, just a few days back uh, i got some message from somebody saying sir um, i have been you know uh, done my ug from a, a small place M, uh, md from a small place do i stand a chance to get a top 20 or top 30 rank i think dr arunima shows that so your take on this mm-hmm. so i think uh, your consistency your hard work and uh... i think that's uh, uh, yeah and your passion for your subject uh, your love for your subject i think that's all matters uh, doesn't matter the institute i think i think uh, agar aapka passion hai then i think you can do it you can make it i don't think anything is impossible uh, if you are too much passionate about your uh, subject about uh, the branch i think you can make it great words great words of wisdom from dr runima so uh, all the best for you to pursue a great career in uh, neonatology so any uh, specific place decided or you are just in if i'll get uh, uh, delhi colleges uh, uh, lady hardig uh, or uh, rml or uh, uh, this mamc uh, i'm preferring those north india colleges mm-hmm. and uh, otherwise uh, i'll think about chandigarh also uh, these are the three four list in my mind right now but uh, let's see in the counseling what happens wishing all the best for you for the counseling and as well as for your later uh, life so be a great new neurologist and you've already made everyone proud you don't need to prove anything now so all the best for the future and god bless you thank you doctor thank you sir thank you so much okay.